Yo, what's up? This is Miguel Kenneth. And this is Mini Chavez. And you are watching Tara Sautripayo. In this episode, we will be talking about some of the gigs that we've attended for the month of October. And joining me, me here again is none other than Mr. Mini Chavez. Hi guys! Maraming salamat Kuya Neil at nakapag-collab ulit tayo. Yeah, so, again, kasi, me. kasi sa ngayon, BC si Ton is uh, currently arranging uh, his future wedding which will be uh, to be announced next year. Congrats Kuya Ton! Congrats in advance! Miss ka namin! <laughs> Enough talk! Let's get on right now. First off, we have the return of Faith Light, where they have first performed after a very long time at the single launch of uh, Advent Road with their latest single known as Homebound. You may check out uh, the single where they have posted, I guess, in their YouTube or, or any other streaming um, services. And kudos to you, Ron, and the rest of Faith Light for a surprise comeback. Hindi namin ma-expect yan. Actually, oh, nagulat din ako na bumalik ang Faint Light bigla eh. Oo oh, nga eh. Out of nowhere, biglang boom! Faint Light? Yeah, Faint Light and um... Pops, baka naman! <laughs> Pops, oh wow! Pops, Pops naman! Pops naman! <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, moving on, we have... Hashtag, Delainer's Night. Ayun, yung anniversary gig <laughs> ng Delaney, which yeah. was called Delainer's Night. Uh, it was held well, at, most. at most on October 5. You guys can check out the clips below. Medyo nag-collab kami ni Kuya Neil doon. So may clips kami. Yeah, check uh, uh, shout out ring kay Jasper Lawan, the only one, Lawan. OG, <laughs> OG. <laughs> And then uh, kudos din sa Philip Fam, the rest of the Delayers for organizing this uh, fun and new Mongo's event. Kahit uh, sobrang sikip ang boss kahit nagwo-wash bit sa ano? So much bit sa North. Sa North toilet. Mo mo wash bit sa Papra, guys. <laughs> oh, at ikaw pa yung ano, nasasagi sa ano, Wall of Death, di ba? Oh, okay. <laughs> Mini, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the Ano pa eh? Last Threads! Last Threads! Oh, last Threads! <laughs> Tapos yung ano, Hobby Three Friends, yung bigyan mo uh, mabas yung ano. Yung bigyan mo mabas yung ano, yung bigyan mo Oo. Tapos N Street. Yan, isang, yeah, N Street. Isang solid yan, N Street. Check nyo sila. Yeah. 
And then uh, we also um ano yung parang gig ko. Ah, ano? Nakalimutan ko tuloy. Pwede ba tayo phone mo? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I think it's over here. Um <laughs> Yung page ko sa news. <laughs> Sorry. So guys, sensya na. Ano, um, having a hard time trying to recall something. See? That's what happens if I uh, forget my script or my list of gigs for me to uh, showcase for this October's gig review slash recap episode. Anyways, I was able to uh, cover the two legs of Karate Tevani's music video launch of Try, which was held at Historia Bar and at the Tempe's Bistro. You may check out the photos of both legs in Speedstar Productions page and uh, spot yourselves there. Oh yeah, shout out to uh, Panda Choco Photography for also covering both of their legs. It was nice meeting you again and also to your crew. Anyways, back to the main video. Okay, it's called Pinoy Playlist. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Moving on, we have the uh, hashtag Pinoy Playlist which was held at different uh, venues around Makati and VGC. Pumunta ako sa uh, day three ng music event na to, sa Sun Life Amphitheater. I was able to catch up with the guys of Price Up and also with Fusebox after for quite some time. Napaka-solid silang dalawang mag-perform. Up next, we also have a special performance of Jason Kuya Steel Lent, where they performed at the St. Teresa's College Family Day. Kasama din yung SB19, yung isang boy band na oh. K-pop inspired. Okay. I was able to catch a glimpse of, of their sound check before the performance. Kaso hindi ko sila napanood, sadly kasi may work ko. Pero, I'm telling you, um, Kuya Steel, give him a few months. Watch out, he's gonna blow up this 2020. Panoorin mo tong episode na to, episode number 37, and tell me if I'm wrong kung bigal sumikat siya. Yan lang, ito yung masasabi ko sa inyo. <laughs> and, um, Mini, ano yung isang gig na napuntaan mo noong October 31? Yung... yung siguro yung dalawa, actually dalawa lang yung talagang tumatak na gig sa akin. Sa October, siyempre yung Delainer's Night, kasi yeah. anniversary yung Delainer. <laughs> and yung pangalawa is yung Grand Fantasma MV Lunch ng Mr. Bones. Congratulations! So pumunta ako doon kasi nang kasama sa lineup ng Delaney Pero pinaka-tumatak sa akin that night is yung set ng Sadie Sige. Kasi si Kuya Mark, naka-dinosaur costume <laughs> Pero niyo guys, nagda-drum siya naka-dinosaur costume I was able to talk with Ton of Widrol kasi number one, nabis ko siya. Tapos number two, I need to know what's going on sa mga ibang events na hindi ko napuntahan. And uh, here's what went down ayon sa voice clip na to. What's up? Um, this is Ton Widrol and 
You are tuning in to Tara TV with Neil Sael of Neil Sael and Neil Foros. So for last um, Pursuit Fair, it's called the uh, Pursuit Fair Volume 6, um, In Creatives We Trust. It was held uh, last October 19. Uh, it was a Saturday at uh, Samsung Hall SM Aura Premiere. Uh, maraming brands, um, I think around um, 20 plus brands ang nag-participate combination of uh, old participants and new participants. So, ayun, for for this uh, Pursuit Fair, um, grabe, sobrang competitive lang ng bawat brands uh, na nag-participate uh, in terms of the boot setup. Merong, uh, uh, merong mga ilan na sobrang uh, effort talaga ng ginawa nila uh, for, for this. And then, syempre, yung iba naman, it's for fun. Then others nag-showcase din on how to print uh, these. And then aside from that, uh, meron ding mga um, uh, live music provided by uh, producers and DJs na nagplay. Uh, si Sir Mickey ng 12 House to name to, to name a few. And then um, in terms of ano, um, in terms of workshop, so sila purveyor uh, tinuloy pa rin nila yung ano yung pinaka workshop nila no. Um, they tackled on marketing to the new digital platforms, content and power of influence. Siyempre, papanin di ba, importante ito kasi ano na siya ngayon, digital age tayo. So, it's one of the important things. Uh, uh, may mga key, uh, keynote speakers from Titan, ayan, One Mega Group, uh, Pirea Street, si Julo, and then uh, Sunny's din. Uh, yung group ng Sunny, Sunny's Face yung sunnies uh, na shades tsaka may cafe na rin sila ngayon and then uh, meron ding going beyond digital um, a lot of speakers then this is I think more more of the yung um, personal touch siguro may mga stores na na-present online um, Trisha Gossing Tiao nandiyan um, si Chi Gibbs anak ni Johnny Gibbs Neon Island and then uh, Patricia Madison colleague ko to before uh, resort will this Randall Cruz ng SYF ano rin siya uh, support your friends is a streetwear brand then Erica Yamaguchi ng case study and then um, last but not least syempre nagtakalis lang about uh, um, state of underground music or yung local music industry sa Philippines nandiyan naman sila um, Samantha Nicole Eric Ong ng Black Market uh, si Bea si Batabi ng Bad Decision so Ayan, very diverse yung mga nag-participate uh, combination ng new and old napaganda pa rin ng, ng, ano, ng atmosphere very supportive yung mga pumunta um, around 1,600 attendees yung pumunta so it actually surpass yung last na purveyor na purveyor pursuit na meron kami so sa so mga hindi pa nakakapunta um, hopefully one of these days mapunta yung next year we have two upcoming uh, by Marvin and Sarah uh, not actually connected to them, but ayun, I highly uh, recommend sa, sa lalo na sa mga gusto makadiscover not only street, streetwear brands, but also uh, local brands as a whole. Back to you, Neil. So, folks, there you have it. This concludes our Geek Review slash Recap episode for this October 2019. Once again, this is me, Neil Kenneth. And this is me, Chavez. And we're signing off. Tara! Yeah. Sound trip tayo! See ya! <laughs>